The surviving guards found this in the cell where the fishmen were taken, sir. It says return. Sir, many have come to believe it is the Hikaru behind this. I've lost 30 soldiers and found two of them with punctures to their neck with needle prints, eyes glazed over with nothing but fear on their dead faces. You are my trusted of all. Do you believe this is the work of the so-called Hikaru? It is of my opinion, sir, that someone may be mimicking their work. Neighboring lands have reported of such copycats over the years. My best guess is, we have a band of rebels here in Kyoto. Do we have any word on where the fisherman and his family are? Not as of yet, sir. I have sent soldiers all over the village, but no one has seen them. It appears they have vanished into thin air. <sighs> the Emperor will have my head if I do not bring someone forward. Send more men into the village to be my eyes and ears. If anything turns up, let me know. Very well, sir. Are you sure no one saw you? Yes, our faces were covered. Are your sisters all right? I am so sorry to put you in this position, but when I heard of Hattori being in trouble, my heart broke. I don't know how much longer we can keep things secret. Don't worry. We made a pledge long ago to protect our friends and fight for what's right. Hattori has been a great friend for many years and kept silent to who we truly are. Have you checked on him and the family? Yes. They are safe with relatives of mine and Otsu. Good. My husband was pleased to know things went according to plan, but he noticed the Shogun's army is heavily present. The intimidation has become greater against the villagers. Things will only get worse. Gone are the days of harmony and compassion. How long will we have to endure such unrest? Stay strong, dear friend. Things will turn around. My wish is that it doesn't take too long. Murasaki, have you come to play with my mind? If so, this is not funny. No, Choshi, I'm sure of it. The Geisha sisters are somehow connected to the Hikaru and involved in Hattori's rescue. But how are mother and father a part of this? Wouldn't they have told us? And you say Makoto is in Atsu? Your questions are just as unanswered as mine. What is going on? We must get answers, but who can we ask? I'm sure father and mother would not like that we know their secrets. We go to the Geisha sisters and we beg them to tell us. If Makoto is safe, I must send word to him to let him know that I am happy he is well. I'm fearful the Shogun may harm our family if he finds out they had a hand in freeing Mr. Hattori. Tomorrow, during lessons, we will ask what we need. Hopefully, we will be given solid answers. Mother and father? Geisha sisters? The Hikaru? This is definitely beyond my wildest imagination. Good afternoon, Shogun. To what do I owe this honor? I've come to discuss a matter very dear to me. My son has reached the age where he may choose a wife. Yes, I remember such a time. How can I be of assistance? It seems he's expressed a great deal of interest in your eldest, Cho. Cho? Yes, it seems she has gotten his attention and he refuses to look at any of the other candidates. He finds your daughter quite intriguing and feels he would be of a better influence to her than the one she entertains now. Entertains now? Forgive me, Shogun, if I am a bit confused. Cho is in the best company there is, her family. We are not just of wealth, but prestige. 
There is no suitors asking for her hand. Ah, but my son has spotted her practicing the forbidden ninjutsu practice with a young Hattori fisherman. My daughter does no such thing. We have our children under strict supervision, and she would have no time for such taboo. We are loyal to the Emperor. My son is no liar, and if I'm not mistaken, your choice of words would infer that I myself am one. Shogun Hitoro, you have come into my home, informing me of immoral acts done at the hands of my daughter, and expect me to simply take your word for it? <laughs> Beg pardon, Shogun, but I am well aware of what goes on in my own home. I am sure you do, but sometimes children have a way of acting out of line, rebelling. Sometimes they need to be kept in order. I don't doubt your daughter is more than suitable for my son, but I thought it was something you should know. The Emperor has banned the ninjutsu practice and, well, it would be a shame for this information to somehow make its way to him. Especially since he has shown considerable favour over you and your family. I am an honest man. My word is enough to challenge what you are accusing my daughter of. You've slipped through my fingers when it comes to the taxing, so I guess you feel you're above my rank. Well, Mr. Kanagita, we know the Emperor's dismay to the disobeying of rules, especially that of the ninjutsu. Are we to overlook the way you handle the fishermen? Those are not the Emperor's rules, but cruel actions directed towards those low in status. They lack the money to feed your greediness, so you steal from their nets. I've upheld the law these past years without so much as a word of displeasure from the Emperor. I don't believe you want to challenge me any further. You may scare many, but I am not moved by your trickery and underhandedness. Your son cannot have my daughter's hand in marriage. Now, I would appreciate if you left my home in peace. I don't take kindly to no. You have this air about you as if you remain invincible. Your money can only last you for so long. It would be a pity to see your businesses, much less your workers, succumb to horrible accidents. Mr. Kanagita, no one is above my reign, and those who test me suffer severe consequences. For the sake of your family, do give my request a second thought. I doubt you want any tragedies to one day occur in your family. I'll be going. And if you will, let Mrs. Kanagita know I would love to come up another day and hear her play a song. 